You sure about this, dude? I don't think people are gonna like the whole hologram host idea. Ah, just give it a chance. Who knows? You might like it. All right. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning. The show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning you. Let's go. You're right, it sucks. Told ya. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning good. And as you know, my name is Jeff. Wait, what the f was that? Anyway, we're going to be doing a quick and easy effect thanks to these requests. So a bunch of you asked for a Cisco hologram effect, like a lot. So today we'll be tackling this. Now I previously did a Star Wars hologram effect, but this one is a little different. It's actually easier. My God. Exactly. Now in order to do this, we'll have to dust off the old green screen and shoot our actor performing their lines like so. Apart from that, we just need After Effects and a thank you Jesus to get us started. Thank you Jesus! Tell me that doesn't get you pumped. Okay gang, here we are in After Effects. I've opened the Cisco Hologram Project file in the description. You better download that if you haven't. Now I've also taken the liberty of keying out our hologram actor footage and I've imported that in as well as our background plate. Now before I get started, I just want to point out in this project file, I am using a plugin from Red Giant Universe called Simple RGB Separation. So you will need to download either a trial of Universe or have a license for Universe to make that work. Now gang, if you don't know what an RGB split is, it's basically taking the three primary colors that make up all colors, red, green, and blue, and separating those channels to give us that weird old TV style effect. Now if you don't want to download Universe or buy it, there is another option. You can do a traditional RGB split within After Effects, that does take a little bit longer. My buddy Ruben has a great tutorial over on his channel that covers a plug-in free RGB split, and you can find a link to that video in the description. But let's get on with the tutorial, since I'm not one to waffle on. Much. So our steps here are insanely easy guys. All you need to do once you've keyed out your actor footage is simply drop it on the bottom of the composition called Actor Keyed. And BAM! Every effect has been applied to your footage already. And once again, if you don't have that simple RGB split plugin installed from Universe, you will have to do that before the effect will work in the comp. Now before we head to the next step, let's see what's going on with these adjustment layers in this comp, just so I can explain what I've done here. The first layer is a simple wave warp and noise distortion animation. It turns on for one frame. If we head to that frame, you can see in that middle keyframe that it kind of glitches out and has a bit of noise. If you want to add more of these, all we need to do is highlight these keyframes and just copy and paste them along the timeline. Like so. Or say you wanted to glitch out at a different point on the timeline. Just highlight those keyframes and move them to the point on the timeline you want it to actually glitch out. It's really that easy. The next adjustment layer is a wave warp animation. If we hover over that keyframe, it's another glitch layer that warps the image by vertically bending it. Same thing here gang, if you want more warps, hit U on the keyboard to reveal the animations and copy and paste them along the timeline. Once again, if you want this wave warp to happen on a different part of the timeline, just highlight those keyframes and move them straight to that point. Or you could, you know, just leave them as is. I mean, it's easier. The one after that is our simple RGB split effect. If I turn it on and off, you can see what it's doing. The one after that is just a cool photo filter to give the footage a slight blue tint. Our next adjustment layer features a color balance HLS that has a little bit of saturation and two iterations of Venetian blinds transitions both set at different widths. This is what gives our hologram that linear banding you see. And finally, a brightness and contrast filter with a crap load of contrast added and a little bit of brightness just for good measure. And the last adjustment layer is just some simple color banding that animates up the footage every few seconds. So now that I've explained all of those, all I have to do now is head to the final comp over here. Now within the final comp, you'll see two instances of our actor keyed comp with some opacity animation, as well as a comp called light source. If I solo the light source comp, you can see it's simply a volumetric light that I've made up from a fractal noise, a shape layer, and a little CC radial fast blur. So let's finish this off by dropping my background plate below the marker, right here. And with a funny sound effect, we're all done. Well, almost. Maybe just one more thing. If you want to adjust where your hologram sits in the comp, just highlight both actor comps and the light source and position them wherever you want in the shot. And there we go. Now we're done. Let's check out a preview. And that, my friends, is another effect 
Mm, done. But wait, there's more. I bet you thought I wasn't going to show you how I did the hologram voice. Well, you were wrong, because here we are in Adobe Audition because I'm doing it right now. First things first, let's have a listen. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning your mark out. Nothing special, right? So let's change that. Firstly, I'll highlight the my god section right here, head to favorites and select lower pitch. Now it sounds like this. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning your mark out. Getting better, eh? Now, our next two steps are identical. So pay attention the first time, because I'm not repeating myself. Get it? <clears throat> Righto. Let's head to the effects rack, head to special, guitar suite, and let's first off uncheck bypass on compressor. We'll then set the compressor to 51%, hit bypass on filter and distortion, and then we'll uncheck bypass on amplifier, and then from the drop down menu there, set it to clock radio and then we'll crank up the mix all the way to 100. So, now you know the next step. It's the exact same thing. Head to Special, Guitar Suite, and by default, all our settings should be the same. If they're not, just repeat the same steps we just did. If we have a listen, we are now getting that small speaker sound effect like a museum tour. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning your back down. Lastly, needs a little bit of reverb. So let's head back to the effects rack, head down to reverb and select Studio Reverb. From the drop down menu, we'll simply select Room Ambience 1. Let's head back to the effects rack, hit apply down here, and let's have a listen to our final mix. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning your mark down. Visual effect and a sound effect for the price of one, baby. Oh yeah. Add up all those steps and you get something like this. Hey guys, welcome to Film Learning, the show dedicated to learning you some filmmaking and learning your skills. So gang, that's my take on the HR Wells Cisco hologram from The Flash Season 3. As you saw, it's about as easy as... My Uncle John, he's a mechanic. Yeah. As always guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please throw us a like and share it. If you're new, we've got this subscribe button here that is a total click. Oh as well as these videos here that are even sluttier. And the less said about that social media crap up here, the better. But until next time you're looking at my egghead, keep learning!